Welcome to my DIY space station. That must be an astronaut calling. Oh, hey pet, what are you doing? Hey Ryan, I'm exploring the International Space Station. I was calling to ask if you want to come hang out. That sounds cool, but I have to go to school, so can you learn all about it and tell me? Okay, I'll take good notes for you. Thanks, Peck. Bye. Ryan, it's time to go to school. Okay, coming, Mommy. Ryan's World Galaxy Explorers. Hi, everybody. We're getting close to the International Space Station. <gasps> Look, well, there it is. The International Space Station, or the ISS for short, is called the home of the astronauts. It's a giant space laboratory that orbits Earth. The orbit of the ISS is really fast. At an altitude of approximately 250 miles above Earth, it travels at 17,000 500 miles per hour, which means it orbits Earth every 90 minutes. That's at least 15 times a day. Astronauts from all over the world live and work aboard the ISS. The kind of experiments they research can only be done in space. On the ISS, they live in the environment they're studying, so they can better research things like stars, planets, in black holes. And experiments are completely different in space because there is no gravity. Solids, liquids, and gases move and act differently. These zero gravity discoveries help not only astronauts, but also help people on Earth. From growing foods, to purifying water, from studying diseases, and making medicines, the ISS is busy making history! Speaking of history, building the International Space Station itself was an important moment in the history of the world. You see, no single person or country owns the ISS. Fifteen countries work together to build it. This includes the United States, Canada, Russia, Japan, and several countries that make up the European Space Agency. Now the ISS is the largest space station ever made. What's also really cool is that the ISS was assembled piece by piece in space. It took 10 years and over 30 missions for it to be complete. And now that it's complete, let's hop on board. We made it aboard the International Space Station. Now, if I could just grab onto something. This is going to take some getting used to. Okay, on board the ISS, there are currently seven people living and working here. And there have been 244 people that have ever visited. Spectacular! Let's check out what kind of work they're doing today. Oh boy, I found a lab full of Robonauts. Robonauts are robot astronauts that help the human astronauts with science experiments on the International Space Station. Don't mind me, I'm just getting the hang of the zero gravity stuff. I gotta grab a hold of something, but I don't want to mess up any experiments. Oh, this looks sturdy. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this! This is an ultrasound machine! This is used to research how your body changes when living in space. My heart has shifted up a little, and so has my liver. But that's normal because zero gravity allows even your organs to move around. <laughs> I guess I gotta go get back to the peck pod and let Ryan know about all of this stuff. Hey guys, I just got back from school. I wonder who that is. Oh, hey Peck, did you visit the International Space Station? Oh boy, did I? It was an adventure. I can't wait to hear all about it. 
I've got to hear what Peck learned at the International Space Station. Okay, guys, see ya. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. But before you go, I'm going to launch myself into space. Bye.